pleasant good morning to you. This is Brother Wayne, Evangelist Wayne, Revivalist Wayne Watson. It's a privilege that we have to come before the throne of the living God this morning to worship him and to adore him and just to praise his name because he is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun. I'm going to sing some songs and uh, get into my morning devotional reading and just exhort the name of the Lord. In fact, I'm going to do my quarterly instead of my devotional reading. My devotional is downstairs, so i got to go and get it. Anyway, it's, it's good to be alive. It's good to be in the land of the living. I thank God for waking me up this morning in my rightful mind. My breath is in my nostril. The blood runs warm in my veins. Isn't that something to give God thanks for? Sure it is, indeed. And so, I want to take this time out just to say a word of prayer. Our eternal God and our Father, Lord in heaven, we thank you so much, Lord, that you have kept us to see another day. You have awakened us up this morning in a rightful mind. We just want to praise you. We just want to adore you, to worship you, to magnify your worthy name. We ask that you will tabernacle with us. O oh, Father God, you are Emmanuel. You are God with us. We ask you to be with us, be in our midst as we worship you, as we praise and as we adore you. Lord, we just invite your presence with us that you will mold us and make us, fashion us after your will, O God, and help us to walk humbly and uprightly before you. Have your own way in our life, dear Father God. Have your own way in our life. Remove from us everything that oppose you, Lord. And as we learned yesterday from the devotion, dear Father, that there is a war inside of us, the spirit wars against the flesh. But you have already overcome the flesh, Lord. You have won the victory for us. And if we would just surrender and submit ourselves to you, all will be well. Hear us this morning, dear Father, and as we seek you and seek your face, be not far from us but draw us close to your bosom and prepare us for greater things to come, for higher heights, dear God, in our experience. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I'm just going to pause a while and rush to my devotional and come right back so that I can have the prayer and devotional reading. Thank you. Bear with me. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to be singing Have Thine Own Way, Lord. Have Thine Own Way. Thou art the potter and I am the clay. <clears throat> Have Thine Own Way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter, and I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will. While I am waiting, yielded and still. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Search me and try me, Master, today. Wash me just now, Lord, wash me just now. And in thy presence, somber I bow. Have thine own way, Lord. 
wounded and weary, help me, I pray. Power, all power, surely he thine. Touch me and heal me, Savior divine. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Hold o'er my being, absolute sway. Fill with thy spirit, till all shall see, Christ only always living in me. <clears throat> That's a wonderful song, a song of inspiration, a song of humility. And the spiritual connotation to this song <clears throat> comes to us from Isaiah chapter 64, verse 8. But now, O Lord, Thou art our Father, we are the clay, and Thou our potter. And we all are the work of thy hand. From one Psalm one thirty nine verse twenty three we say, Search me, O God, and know my heart, try me and know my thought. <clears throat> From Isaiah one verse eighteen. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. From Matthew chapter 6 verse 13, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever. Amen. Also Luke 22 verse 51, And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far. And he touched his hair and healed him. And the final verse of connotation in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 17, That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love. If I can imagine the songwriter was under the inspiration of the, the word as the song was penned. We are grateful. The composer of the song is George Stebbin. And it was composed in 1907. A wonderful song. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. I'd like to go to net. Net hymnal. I sing over or me, Holy Spirit. That's a long, long time I haven't sung that song. Over or me, Holy Spirit. We find it from this song. Let me see if it's on this. Overwhelm me, Holy Spirit. 
Bathe my trembling heart and brow. Fill me with thy holy presence. Come, O come, and fill me now. Spirit, bathe my trembling heart and brow. Fill me with thy whole Lord presence. Come, O come, and fill me now. Fill me now, fill me now, Jesus, come and fill me now. Fill me with thy whole Lord presence, come, oh, come and fill me now. Thou canst fill me, gracious spirit, thou I cannot tell thee how, but I need thee, greatly need thee. Come, oh, come and fill me now. Fill me now, fill me now. Jesus, come and fill me now. Fill me with thy whole Lord presence. Come, oh, come and fill me now. I am weakness, full of weakness. At thy sacred feet I bow. Bless divine, eternal spirit. Fill with power and fill me now, fill me now, fill me now, Jesus come and fill me now, fill me with thy whole Lord presence, come, oh come and fill me now. Cleanse and comfort, bless and save me, bed, obey my heart and brow, the Lord come fourteen and save in thou art sweetly feeling now. Fill me now, fill me now, Jesus come. And fill me now, fill me with thy whole Lord presence. Come, come and fill me now. Over o'er me, Holy Spirit, bade my trembling heart and brow. Fill me with Thy whole Lord presence come, oh come and fill me now. Fill me now, fill me now, Jesus come and fill me now. Fill me with thy whole Lord presence come. Oh, come and fill me now. I can fill me, gracious spirit, though I cannot tell thee all, oh, but I need thee, greatly need thee. Come, oh, come and fill me now. Fill me now, fill me now, Jesus, come and fill me now. Fill me with thy whole Lord presence, come, oh, come and fill me now. I am weakness, full of weakness, had Thy sacred feet I bow, bless divine eternal spirit, fill 
with fire and fill me now, fill me now, fill me now, Jesus come and fill me now, fill me with thy hallowed presence come, oh come and fill me now. Let that comfort bless and save me, bathe, obey my heart and brother. Lord, comfort him and save him. The Lord sweetly fill him now. Fill. Lord God, fill me now, Jesus. Jesus, come and fill me now, fill me with thy whole Lord pray. Then come, oh, come and fill me now. <coughs> Overhear me, Holy Spirit. Bathe, obey my heart and brow. Fill me with thy Honored presence. Come, oh come, and fill me now, dear Lord. Fill me now. Fill me now, Lord. Jesus, come and fill me now. Fill me with thy hallowed presence. Come, oh come, and fill me now. Thou canst fill me, gracious spirit, though I cannot tell thee how, but I need thee, greatly need thee. Come, O oh come, and fill me now. <coughs> oh, fill me now, fill me now, Jesus, come. And fill me now, fill me with thy hallowed presence. Come, O oh come and fill me now. I am weakness, full of weakness, Lord. At thy sacred feet I bow. Bless divine, eternal spirit. Fill with power and fill me now. Oh, fill me now. Fill me now. Jesus, come and fill me now. Fill me with thy hallowed presence. Come, oh, come and fill me now. The last time they say, cleanse and comfort, bless and save me. Bathe, obey my heart and brow. Thou art comforting and saving. O oh, thou art sweetly filling now. Fill me now. Fill me now. Jesus, come. And fill me now. Fill me with thy gracious, thy hallowed presence. Come, O oh come, and fill me now. <coughs> My heart is overwhelmed this morning. And I sing that song. And sense the need of the divine Holy Spirit of God in my life. The emptiness that I have that needs to be filled by the Holy Spirit of God so that he can live and reign in my life in preparation for the second coming of Jesus. Lord, I surrender, I submit myself to you. I want to sing another song before I go. I'm going to sing Baptize me anew with power from an eye. 
need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Baptize us anew with power from an eye, with with love or oh, refresh us, their Saviour draw nigh. We humble beseech thee. Lord Jesus, we pray, with love and the Spirit, baptize us today. Baptize us anew, with power from an eye, with love, O oh, refresh us, dear Savior, draw nigh. We humble beseech thee, Lord Jesus, we pray, with love and the Spirit, baptize us today. Unworthy we cry, unholy, unclean, O oh, wash us and cleanse us from sin's guilty stain. We humble beseech thee, Lord Jesus, we pray, with love and the Spirit, baptize us today. O oh, heavenly dove, descend from an eye, we plead thy rich blessing, then mercy draw nigh. We see we rest from the God and adore thee. Amen and Amen. O oh, the glad voice from heaven it came, thou heart my beloved. Well pleased I am. We praise thee, we bless thee, dear Lamb that was slain. We laud and adore thee. Amen and amen. I'm going to go over this song. Baptize us anew with power from an eye. Oh, refresh us, dear Savior, draw nigh. We humble beseech thee, Lord Jesus, we pray. With love and the Spirit, baptize us today. Unworthy we cry, and holy and clean. Oh, wash us and cleanse us from sin's guilty stain. We humble beseech thee, Lord Jesus, we pray. With love and the Spirit, baptize us today. O oh, heavenly dove, descend from an eye, we plead thy rich blessing, then mercy draw nigh. We humble beseech thee, Lord Jesus, we pray, with love and the Spirit, baptize us today. Holy is the glad voice from heaven it came. The watch, my beloved, well pleased I am. We praise thee, we bless thee, dear Lamb that was slain. We laud and adore thee, Amen and Amen. Have mercy. Come, descending spirit. Come, descending spirit. Come, descending spirit. I'm going to go to another song, and this is going to be the final song. And if I keep saying the final song, then I'm going to be singing the entire hymnal. Even me, even me. That's the next song that I'm going to be singing. Even me, even me. Another well-loved song. Lord, I hear of stars of blessing. Thou art scattering full and free. Sure, the thirsty land refreshing. Let some drop now fall on me. Even me, even me. Let some drop now fall on me. 
cried. Lord, our hero, sure the blessing thou art carrying full and free. Sure the thirsty land refreshing let some drops now fall on me. Even me, even me. Let some drops not fall on me. Pass me not, O oh God, my father sinful, though my heart may be. Thou might leave me, but the rather let thy mercy light on me. Even me, even me, let thy mercy light on me. Pass me not, O oh gracious Savior, let me live and cling to thee. I am longing for thy favor whilst the calling, O oh, call me. Even me, even me, whilst the calling, O oh, call me. Pass me not, O oh, Holy Spirit, thou canst make the blind to see. When the star of Jesus Mary speak the word of power to me, even me, even me, speak the word of power to me. Have I been in sin, long sleeping, long been sliding, grieving thee? Has the word my heart been keeping whole, forgive and rescue me? Even me, even me, oh, forgive and rescue me. Love of God, so pure and changeless, blood of Christ, so rich and free. Grace of God, so strong and boundless, magnify them all in me. Even me, even me, magnify them all in me. Pass me not, but pardon and bring in bend my heart, O Lord, to Thee. While the streams of life for spring in blessing others, O oh, bless me. Even me, even me, blessing others, hope, bless me. This song I would sing over and over and over and over and over and over again. But in the interest of time, I'm going to cease from singing and do my morning devotion. Once again, I'm going through the book, 40 Days of Prayer and Devotion in Preparation for the Second Coming of Jesus Christ. The book written by Pastor Dennis Smith. I love these books, the 40 Days series, 40 Days series. Today is day number 27, day number 27, and the caption for today is Sin's Power Broken, Sin's Power Broken, Alleluia to the Lamb, Alleluia to His precious name, Sin's Power 
has been broken. I thank God for that. Let's go into the reading. There are many aspects to the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. One is that at the cross, the power of the sinful nature was broken. Praise God for all who accept Christ and believe. Knowing this, that our whole man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Romans chapter 6 verse 6. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Verse, verse 11 of Romans chapter 6. When Jesus died on the cross, the power of the sinful nature in every believer's life was broken. And how fitting it is for this morning, being resurrection morning. <laughs> this is an historical fact. However, it becomes a reality in the Christian's life only if he believes it. Let me read that over again. When Jesus died on the cross, the power of the sinful nature in every believer's life was broken. Hallelujah. This is an historical fact. However, it becomes a reality in the Christian's life only if he believes it. This means that the unloving you, the unforgiving you, the angry you, the lustful you, the anxious you, the list could go on and on and on, died at the cross. That is wonderful news. It means that you do not have to be controlled by your unloving attitude, by your unforgiving attitude, by your anger, by your lustful thoughts and desires, etc. The power of those sinful desires, attitudes, and behaviors is broken. Praise the Lord! The problem most Christians encounter when they read these Bible verses is that they conclude they should then be able to obey God with help. For example, consider the Christian who has struggled with anger. He reasoned that if the power of his sinful anger was broken at the cross, he now can stop being angry when something happened to cause him to become angry. He feels great relief, confident that now he will finally have the victory. Soon something happened to cause him to feel anger. Perhaps someone cut him off while driving, or someone says something very unkind to him. Immediately anger arises. He puts forth effort to subdue it, but he finds that it keeps lingering. He doesn't want these feelings, but seems helpless to get rid of them. He begins questioning himself about why anger is still arising in his feelings. He concludes that he must not have asked God or received from God enough of his power to assist him in his effort to overcome the anger. So he pleads with God to remove the hunger, to give him the power needed, to give him the victory. Even so, he continues to experience the same pattern of being overcome by his besetting sins. More confusion and feelings of defeat set in. Again, he questions his sincerity and has no peace in his walk with the Lord. 
It is very true that the power of our sinful nature was broken at the cross. However, this does not mean that if we now believe this, we can begin obeying God by putting forth effort to do so. Remember, we have no ability in and of ourselves to obey God. Even though the overwhelming influence of our sinful nature was broken at the cross, simply knowing and believing that truth is not enough. No, there is only one way we will have the victory we long for. The victory over temptation and sin will take place in our lives only as we believe the truth of the crucifixion of our sinful nature and also allow Christ to give us his victory. We must understand that we will be victorious over sin and temptation only as we allow him to live out his life of victory in us. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Romans chapter 10 verses 3 and 4 For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Philippians 1, 21. Sin's power is broken. Sin's power has broken in the believer's life. What a powerful reading this morning. What a powerful reading. Lord, help us to believe that you have broken the power of sin. When you died on that cruel cross. And it is so fitting. To know that this morning. We celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. This morning we celebrate the historical resurrection of Jesus. When he rose from the dead. Father we thank you so much that you have broken the power of sin. You have taken the power of anger, of lust, of fornication, of adultery. O oh God, of sinful carnal nature and carnal sins. You have broken those sins. Help us to believe and to trust you. And just to allow you who have broken these powers to live out your life within us day by day, every day of our lives. Personal reflection and discussion. <clears throat> what happened to the power of the Christian sinful nature at the cross? What happened to the power of the, sin, the Christian sinful nature at the cross? If one knows and believes this truth, does it mean he or she can now begin obeying God consistently? Why or why not? If one knows and believes this truth, does it mean he or she can now begin obeying God consistently? Why or why not? What must the Christian also believe in order to overcome sin's consistency? What must the Christian also believe in order to overcome sin consistently? Have you ever been tempted to believe that you are not really a Christian because of the sin problem in your life? Have you been tempted to believe that you are not really a Christian because of the sin problem in your life? Have you ever asked God to remove a particular sin in your life, but he didn't seem to hear or answer you, and you struggle with it continually? Have you ever asked God to remove a particular sin in your life, but he didn't seem to hear or answer you, and your struggle with it 
continued. Prayer activities. Call your prayer partner and discuss this devotional with him or her. Pray with your prayer partner for God to continue to baptize each of you with his Holy Spirit. For God to bring revival into your life and his church. For God to give you a re revelation of how you are to let Jesus live out his life of victory in and through you. For the individuals on your prayer list. Pray for the individual on your prayer list. Including the following Bible verse in your prayer. That he, God, would grant you according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in you, in your heart, by faith, that he, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that he might be filled with all the fullness of God. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 16 through 19. Fill us with your spirit, Lord. Strengthen us by your power of your spirit, so that we can stand against all the attacks of the enemy. Fill us with your love and open our eyes to understand the love of Christ so we will reveal Christ's love to others by our words and action. Father, again we thank you, Lord, for loving us. We thank you so much, dear Father God, that you have kept us alive to see a day like this. I pray and I ask you, dear Lord, to wash and cleanse us from all sins, guilt, and stain. Help us to accept the sacrifice that you have made. Help us to accept and to know that, Lord, you have broken the power of sin in our lives and that we have the victory because you have given it to us. Teach us how, Lord. Reveal to us how. We are to just allow you to live out your life in us. Reveal that to us. And when you should have revealed that to us, Lord, help us to obey you and to allow you to live your life out in us. Bless my poor partner. Bless Camila and her, her family this morning. They might be sleeping, Lord, but I know you can speak to their heart through dreams and visions. Oh, Father God, I pray that you will provide for them. I pray that you, they will seek you with all their hearts, dear Father. Gender, husband, and children, I lift them up. Her siblings, I lift them up to you too, Lord. Pray that you will help that each and every one of them who has established their homes, that they will remember the love that you have given them. And I pray, God, that you will reach them by the medium of your Holy Spirit. Remember uh, Lee in a very special way this morning, Lord, I pray and lift him up and his family. Pray that you will do the same that I just prayed for, dear God. Oh, Father, remember his siblings too, dear Lord, Lisa, Sony, Garnell, P, uh, and Award, dear Father, and Lance, all of them I lift up before you this morning. Pray that you will bless them and keep them and draw them close to you. Dear God, remember Vivine and her family, dear Father God, and all her siblings, her children, her husband. I pray that, Lord, you will continue to work on their hearts. Continue to show them the way, dear God. Reveal to them how they might allow you to live out your life within them. Oh God, remember Patricia. White in a very special way. I pray that you speak to her heart, lead her to your truth, help her in all her decisions that she has to make. Remember her son, Taj, in a very special way. Remember her siblings too. 
May you watch over them, bless them, and keep them. Lord, and as for me, remember me and my family. I claim your promise, Lord. I know you are giving back to me ten times what the devil has stolen. So, Father, I pray for my loving wife. I pray that you speak to her heart. Pray that you will visit her even now in her dream. Keep her close to you, dear Father. Settle her doubts, dear Lord, and help her to have a closer, more united relationship with you. Bless the children, Latoya. O oh, Father, speak to her heart. Continue to knock on the door of her heart, dear Father. Give her the willingness to serve you. May she surrender her heart to you in totality. Remember Duane, dear Father God, I lift him up to you this morning. Bless his business. O oh, Father God, speak to his heart, dear Lord. Help him to do the right thing in life. And to serve you and to return to you, dear Father God, who is his hope and glory. Father, I, I speak wisdom on his behalf to you. Reach out to him, dear Father. Remember Javain in a very special way. I pray that you will help him to come to know you and to know his life eternal. Father, bless his brothers and sisters. Oh, Father, remember his mother too. Help them to come to know you and to know his life eternal. Then, Father, I, I lift up, I lift up um, Ajan and her siblings and mom. Pray that you will be with them in Canada. Watch over them. Help them to come to know you and to know his life eternal. Calm their fears. Set to their doubts. And Lord, I pray that you speak wisdom to their hearts and mind. Remember my beloved Dane, dear Father. Oh Lord, save him the best for last. I pray that you will continue to strive with the young man, dear Lord. Father, may he grow in wisdom and stature and in favor with you and his fellow men. Bless him, dear Jesus. Cover the pathway for him, dear Lord. I pray, dear Father, that you will take him. I submit him to you. He just turned 14, Lord. Speak to his heart. Give him a dream. Speak to his heart, dear Lord. Call him to ministry, dear Father God. As you called um, Samuel, I beg of you, call my son, dear Father, Dane Watson. I pray, God, that you will speak to his heart even now. In dream, give him something that he can understand that you are calling him to ministry. And that, Lord, he should be thinking even about Pine Forge, dear Father, School of the Prophets. Oh, Father God, I pray that you speak wisdom to him. Bless me, Lord. Bless my effort. Bless my plans, dear God, as you have directed me. Bless my ministry. Thank you for restoring me to the joy of you, Lord. And Father God, I know that you have him on your agenda. Oh, Father, bless uh, Germantown Seventh-day Adventist Church. Bless Pastor Palmer in a very special way. And the vision they have for the Highway Hill uh, SDA Christian Academy. Oh, Father God, what a blessing this is. What a ministry that's going to be, dear Father. Help me to, to, to stand firm, dear God, and direct my path. And Lord, just assign me to where you want me to be. Oh, Father God, we see this as a great venture, as a gigantic move, dear Jesus. Bless, keep, sanctify, and save. And when you come, may all of us be saved in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. I know this has been the longest morning, longest time, 48 plus minutes. So I say, walk with God and let him walk with you. Be blessed and be a blessing. Jesus loves you and so do I. Be blessed.